very interesting one today and it's probably one of the most controversial and widely talked about uh, topics to do with septic tanks right now let me show you what it is right we're going to discuss yep and wait for it we're going to discuss what is the septic tank ban yes it is very controversial okay and um okay so if you're a septic tank owner then this broadcast will be of great benefit to you let me just start by saying that right all right so let me just start by saying what i am and i am not going to do in a minute i'm just going to share the facts with you as to what the septic tank ban is exactly it's not meant to scare you it's not meant to anger you it's not meant to rile you there's good news in all this because i'm going to show you how not only to make your septic tank fully compliant and legal right before the first of jan 2020 i'm also going to show you how to save thousands and thousands of pounds in fact after this broadcast is done You'll be sending me emails saying, oh, mate, listen, cheers to that. Can I buy you a pint? So the answer is yes, you can buy me a pint. But let me crack straight on with this, OK? All right, so let me crack straight on with this. So what is the septic tank ban? That's exactly what we're going to deal with tonight. So will all septic tanks up and down the country be banned? Um, will all septic tank owners be fined and prosecuted? And if you've got a septic tank, how can you make your septic tank fully legal and compliant? Well, this is what I'm going to share with you right now. All right. So let's get straight on with this. OK, so let's just go straight to the Internet. Now, if you I'll do this for you, you can check it out in your own time. So just go to Google and type in dot gov. Right now, dot gov is will take you to the government's website. All right, so there's the government's website right there. So forgive me for having my cup of tea, but it's been a long day today. Mm. All right, and so in this little search box here, you just need to type in something called the general binding rules. All right, the general binding rules. All right, and that's the term used, that's the legal um, or correct term for the septic tank ban. I'll tell you why they, everyone's calling it the septic tank ban in a minute. But under here, you'll find, yes, there's 88,000 results, but don't worry, I'm going to take you straight to it. Just need to go to the third one down from the top, the third one down. And here it says this. OK, here it says this. All right. General binding rules. And uh, it's dealing with small sewage discharge to surface water all right it says rules you must follow if your septic tank or small sewage treatment plant releases or discharges liquid to a surface stream so basically what it's saying is this if you've got a septic tank if you've got a sewage treatment plant basically and it's just charging into a water course then it becomes illegal on the 1st of January 2020. It's as simple as that. Let me show you a picture here of, give you an example of what I'm talking about. All right, so there you go. There's a picture of um, the pipe discharging into a water course. So let's see if I've got a better picture here. Let me just open something up for you right here. All right, so bear with me a second. This is live, so things typically can go wrong if you're not careful. Okay, yeah, here's a better one. All right, so here's a house. Here's a typical house here. And here is a septic tank. And here you can see it discharging into a water course. That's basically what the whole of the septic tank ban is about. The government are basically going to start clamping down on people whose septic tanks discharge into a water course. From the 1st of January 2020, it will become illegal. And already, let me show you this picture, right? Already, um, the Environmental Agency um, are preparing um, their officers, if you want to call them officers, to patrol right, rivers and streams and brooks, stuff like that, to see. If, for example, maybe their neighbors have dobbed them in, 
maybe there's been reports that there's sewage smells coming from the streams, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the environmental agency are already arm, arming their officers with these machines, right? And you can see it there. Let's see if I can make it a tiny bit bigger. There you go, yeah. You can see in his hand there, you can see it's actually got a device. And what he's doing is monitoring the sewage content in the rivers there. And basically, the score is this. After the 1st of January 2020, if your septic tank, if my septic tank, right, discharges into a watercourse like this, right, the officers will come round. This is the procedure as we understand it so far. This is the procedure as we understand it. The officers will come round and they say, look, you know, uh, we've got good reason to believe that your septic tank is polluting the watercourse. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give you X amount of days or X amount of weeks to sort this problem out. And what they will do, it's called the septic tank ban because at this point, they will actually ban us. They'll restrict us from using our septic tank from so it won't be able to discharge into a watercourse anymore. That's why it's called the septic tank ban. Now, these rules and regulations are really stressing people out. People are worried. People are anxious. People across, people are even shout, ringing me up and shouting at me as if it's my fault, right? I haven't brought these rules and regulations in. They're shouting at me saying, you know, you're charlatan, you know, we got enough on our plate, and that's fine. So, look, I've made this video because I'm going to show you how to avoid all the fines and prosecutions. I've got some really good news. I'm going to show you how to save thousands of pounds and make your septic tank compliant. That's the whole point I've done this broadcast, not to scare you, not to stress you out, not to worry. I've got some really good news. So let me just crack on with, with you and just explain a tiny bit more about what the septic tank ban entails and how you can simply and easily right, make your septic tank compliant. Let me show you that, right? All right. So, OK, so we've just we've just seen, haven't we, on the government's website that uh, here's the government's website here, that if you've got a septic tank on the 1st of January 2020, it becomes illegal to discharge, discharge into a water course. OK, so we've seen that. And so here is a typical scenario. Oh, we've got, here's a typical scenario, a lovely house, could be any house right in the country discharging into a water course. Okay, so at this point, at this point, you've normally got three options. Right? At this point, you've got three options. And these are your options. Number one, you can get a firm in to come, to come and completely replace your septic tank and your sewage system. You can do that. People are ringing me up at the moment saying they've been given quotes for 15, 20, 30,000 quid. So, so that's one option. That's option one. And, and you're entitled to do that, right? Option two, you can just say stuff it and not do anything and just hope for the best. And some people will do that because they're sick of all these rules and regulations. Okay. Or you can just ignore it. But here's two options, right? I'm going to show you that a simple, that are cost effective and it will save you thousands of pounds. Have a look at this, right? Here's option number one, right? Let me show you option number one. All right. Get yourself, right? Get yourself a septic tank converter, all right? So this isn't a sales pitch. I'm just telling you. Have a look online. There's many companies sell septic tank converters, but this is one option how you can make your septic tank uh, legal before the 1st of January 2020 and save thousands and thousands. I'm going to show you how to save 15, 20,000 quid. Have a watch of this, right? Right, so here's your septic tank. All right, yes, I've just shown you it discharging into the water course there. Let me just take the grass away here, right? Let me take the grass away. All right, so this is what a, a typical septic tank looks like. There's your septic tank, right? And we know what's in the septic tank. There's poo and wee in the septic tank, all right? So let's just take the panel off. All right, and let so there's a septic tank in and out. All right, and so let's put the horrible dripping water in there. Okay, so there you go. There's the poo water in there. So as it stands, all the poo water will go into your septic tank, and as I've just shown you last three times of emphasis, it discharges into the stream. Okay, that's what's happening here. Okay, so this is how to not pay thousands and thousands. If people come around giving you quotes. Before you consider spending 20 grand on replacing your system, have a look at this. 
Right, it's called a septic tank converter. All you need to do, and they're really easy, they're non-electrical, they're all government approved. Have a look at this, right? Have a look at this. You literally just dig two small holes by the side of your existing septic tank. That's all you do. It would take you, oh, I don't know, what, what, half an hour, an hour at most to do, right? And then what you do is that you put an inspection chamber, German inspection chamber, next to your septic tank here. So let me zoom in a bit closer. Okay, so you see that? It's just balancing on the soil there, nothing else, okay? Then you connect. What you do, you connect an outlet pipe, right? So you create your piece of a new outlet pipe. So let me just take the inspection chamber off. So that's what it will look like without the inspection chamber there, okay? Then you put an inspection chamber, connect it to it. And here we go. This is the thing that's going to save you thousands and thousands of pounds now. And they're really, really popular. And they're amazing. Whoever invented these, the Germans do actually, they're amazing. Have a look at this. Ta -da! Look at that. Now, that is called a septic tank conversion system. And this is what it does. Let me show you what it does, right? So all the poo and the wee is in here. There's all the horrible poo and wee and nasty stuff that's polluting the watercourses. It leaves a septic tank, right? It makes its way down here, right, down there, and it enters this government-approved converter conversion system right then what happens is this as it as it goes through the conversion system as it goes through the conversion system it actually turns it actually converts the raw sewage into look at this safe clean <laughs> wastewater look at that so the poo and the weed they go in there there's, it's organic, it's non-electrical, and, and the government have approved these systems, and the government are pushing these systems to help people become legal. Right. These systems cost about 2,999 quid. You may say, well, that's a lot of money. Well, look, <laughs> people are getting quotes for 10, 20, 30, 40,000 quid to replace a system. So when you compare this, I mean, pe two people have rung me up in the last week, right, saying that they've been quoted Fifteen thousand pounds, right, to replace a septic tank system. They can buy one of these for two nine 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 and put it, get the builder to do it, or put it in themselves okay, for within an hour or two. So there you go. That's tip number one. That's tip number one. Get yourself a septic tank conversion system. Full stop. All right. If you want to see where they are when I finish this, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You can see more information on them there. Next tip I'm going to give you now. Where have I gone? All right, I'm back. I'm back. This next tip I'm going to show you again. It's free. I don't want a penny off you. This is no sales pitch. I'm going to show you how to make your septic tank legal and compliant. OK, so let's say your septic tank doesn't go into a ditch. Right. But there's still certain things that you've got to do to make your septic tank compliant before the 1st of Jan 2020. Let me show you this. Right. Let me show you this. All right. So what you need to do, you need one of these. Can you see that? This is a, a government compliance form, a septic tank government compliance form. Building reg states that every person with a septic tank or a, a, a sewage treatment plant needs to display one of these in their kitchen, in their utility room, and they need to hand one to their solicitor. Now, you'll notice on here there's lots of blanks, right? So let me just show you on the government website where it speaks about this, okay? Because some people think I'm making this up. This is why I do these live broadcasts. I'm just trying to help people. At the end of the day, I just want to help people. I love helping people, all right? I've got no agenda here, you know. Keep your money. I just want to help you. If I, as I said, you'll end up buying me a pie. If you want to buy me a pie, that's great, but I don't want your money, all right? So let me just go down here. So we're back. Let me show you where we are. We're back on the government website, okay? So let's go down to the bottom. So we're still on the same page. Look, in case you think I've gone somewhere else, look. So we're going down to the bottom here, right? We're going down to the bottom, all right? Okay, so here we go. So we're scrolling down. Yeah, there's lots of rules and regulations, but this is why I'm doing these. Okay, if you sell your property, here we go. If right, And this is where this comes in now. If you sell your property, you must tell you the new owner about your sewage treatment system. So here we go. They must include, right, a description of the treatment plant and the drainage system, the location of this 
Details about any changes made to the plant and the drainage system. Details of how the drainage treatment plant should be maintained, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So basically, what happens is this, right? And this is very important. So please clock this. If you're gonna, if, if you're gonna go away, don't go away now. I'll explain. Right? When you come, to, if you're a septic tank owner, what happens is this: when you come to sell your house, right? The people buying your house. Let me just show you this. Let me just show you this. The people buying your house will ask their solicitor to ask you what sewage system you've got in place, right? This is where people panic and they run rummage around the, 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 their drawers looking for septic tank emptying receipts, stuff like that, okay? And basically what happens is this. They go and get their septic tank emptying receipts and stuff like that, and they hand them to the solicitor, right, representing the clients. He then gives them back, and they say, well, this doesn't tell us anything about their septic tank. And it just this goes on for months and months, and, you know, your house sale, it's dragging on now. And because there's nothing definitive to show the, the, the people buying your house what system you've got, how often you've had it maintained, the capacity of it, what it's made from, when it was repaired last, you've got nothing. All right, you've told them how often you've had it empty, but so what? Then what they do, they get fed up and they say, right, we're going to give you three quotes, right? We're going to get three quotes for people to come and replace your septic tank, all right? And this is what happens. And they, and they come back to you and they say, look, we want to knock your house down by 15, 20,000 quid and we'll go forward with a house sale. And this is blowing people's minds. They say, stuff you. And they get rid of them. But every time someone comes to buy their house, they have to go through the same procedure, the same rigmarole. And, 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 and solicitors buying properties are wise to it. But if you've got one of these, if you've got one of these government compliance forms, you bypass all that. You don't need to do it because on here, you fill out, right, what system you've got, how often you've had it maintained, how often you get it emptied, what it's made of, the capacity of it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you put one of these in your kitchen, in your utility room, and, and you hand one to your solicitor. So when someone comes to buy your house, they just pull this out. The solicitor looks at it and he goes, oh, yeah, that's the system they've got. Oh, wow, that's how I said. And it saves you 15,000 quid, right? So how much are these? They're free. I'm giving them away. I've been giving them away for four months now. This is why I do the broadcast, right, to help people. So let me just show you where you can get them for free, for free, right? Don't want a penny off you. All you need to do is go to Google, right, and type in septic tank. .co.uk. There you go. It's as simple as that. And there I come up right at the top there. Oh, sorry. Let me do that again because I thought the screen was on, right? So you go to Google. I'll do it again for you. You just type in septic tank, if I can spell properly, septic tank.co.uk. And this is where you get your free form from. There I am right at the top of the uh, page there. Just click it. And there's my shop, right? Again, this is not a sales pitch. These are free, right? Then you just scroll down on the left hand side there. You will see. How to beat the septic tank ban. Click it. Click that image right there, right? And then it will take you to a page where you can get your free government compliance form. There's a picture of me there holding it, right? Okay, I'm not going to win any Oscars for my video there. But the point being is I just explain in a little bit more depth what I'm explaining to you here. Just scroll down the page there. And you'll come to here it is. Look, free government compliance form. Get your free form. So what all that you do is... You put your name in. So let's say you, your name is Jason. And then let's say you're putting your, your email address in the series mail at uh, Google Mail.com. And then you press return. And then it submits it. And then you can check your, you go, it says go ahead, check your email and your spam box after. And you'll get a free government compliance form. There you go. And so that's it. That's it in a nutshell. That is how to beat the septic tank ban. It's free. All of it's free. So there you go. So no, not all septic tanks are going to be banned up and down the country. If you've got a quote for 15, 20, 30,000 quid, right? Before you flame in, if, you're, if your septic tank is discharging into a stream or a river or a watercourse, right? Just check out the septic tank converters. They'll save you thousands and thousands of pounds. In fact, let me just show you where a septic tank converter is here. All right, so let's say you've gone back to here. All right, there you go. There's a picture of one. In fact, let me just show you a picture of one. There it is, septic tank converter. There you go. How about that? Couldn't be clearer than that, could it? But 
Look at that, septic tank converter. So all that you need to do is go to septictank.co.uk, as I've said a million times. <laughs> I do say it a lot, you know, obviously. Then click it, right? Click, and there it is. If you want to save 13, 14,000 quid, just get one of these and put them in. It's simple. It's as simple as that, right? There it is, and it's got lots of information on it before and after. If you want to um, beat the septic tank ban, at the top of the page here it says septic tank ban. Just click that and get yourself a free government compliance form. And if you want to see more live broadcasts, at the top right there it says septic tank TV. Just click that, and it'll show you all the live broadcasts I've done this year. I've done hundreds and hundreds of them. To help people and they're all on different subjects they're not just on you know beating the septic tank ban i mean look on soak away crates what causes septic tank problems that was one i did before what's a septic tank pump how to install a septic tank and soak away so i've done all this stuff for free to help you so listen thank you very very much for taking the time to watch my broadcast again today septictank.co.uk is where it's at um, I've been doing septic tanks and soakaways for 20 years, and I love helping people. That's why I do this. Right? I'm in the business because I love helping people. If I can fix you and, or fix your problems for next to nothing or for nothing, then I'm happy. Okay? So, listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this broadcast today. You take care, and I'll speak to you soon.